Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are gonna be starting a brand new module and it is really exciting and I'm really happy to share it with you. I'm going to start by showing you a picture of something that I think you're going to know. See if you can remember, what is that a picture of? If you said the world or the earth, then you are correct. We are going to be learning all about the earth and our world over the next several weeks. So we always have an essential question and that is our big question that's gonna take us a long time to answer. Our essential question for this module says, what makes the world fascinating? So the world is what we just saw, our whole planet, what makes the world fascinating? So I'm really excited to share with you because there are seven continents in the world. So when we looked at that picture just now, we saw blue and green. The blue is the ocean. The green is the land. So there are seven chunks of green and that represents our seven continents. So here's our map and we can read our continents. North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, and Antarctica. Those are the names of our seven continents. We live in North America. So we were working on our last unit when we were getting all of our mail and learning about America then and now, we were talking about our country, which is the United States of America. So if we make it even a little bit bigger than bigger than our country is our continent. So our continent is named North America. So we have North America is our continent. The United States of America is our country. Maryland is our state and Baltimore is our city. So those are all important and good things to know. So here is North America. We're going to learn about all of these different places. They all have really, really neat features that we're going to learn about. Our focusing question that we're going to think about this week and a little bit next week um, says, what interesting things can people do in Europe and Asia? So what interesting things can people do in Europe and Asia? So these are the continents of Europe and Asia right over here. So we're going to start by learning about those two continents. We're right here in North America. And even though on this map, it looks like we're not very far away, there's a lot of blue in between where we live and Europe. And that blue is the Atlantic Ocean. So even though it looks like a short distance, like we could just walk on over there, we would have to take a long plane ride or an even longer boat ride to get over there because we have to cross the Atlantic Ocean. So our map is a really helpful tool to look at where we are learning about. So for today, we are going to be exploring Europe and we're going to be reading this informational text about Europe. And because it's our first read of this, we are going to just be thinking about things that we notice or things that we wonder. So again, our job today while we listen to this story is to think about things that we notice or things that we wonder. So let me read you our wonder wheel words. Where, when, what, why, how, and who. Again, that's where, when, what, why, how, and who. So your job while we read this is to think about some things that you wonder about in this story. And you can get that from the illustrations. Um, from the pictures in the text or from the words, either one. All right. This book was written, the author was is Rebecca Hirsch. So remember, the author is who writes the words. This is an informational text. So we have primarily pictures, um, real life pictures in this book to help us learn about the different places. All right, so it starts with a table of contents, which is found in a lot of informational books, and it ha tells us all of the different things that we are going to learn about and see in this story. Welcome to Europe. Europe is a continent. 
The largest pieces of land on earth are continents. There are seven. Europe is the yellow continent on this map. So here's a map again, and that's going to be a keyword continent. When so I have written it down, I'm going to hang it up. It is very important that we know what is a continent. So let me read that again. A continent, they are the largest pieces of land on earth. And there are how many of them? Seven. So Europe, that's where we're going to pretend that we are today. Europe is a small continent, but it has many countries. Germany, Spain, and Italy are three countries in Europe. Can you find them on this map? So Germany is right here. Spain is right here. And Italy is right here. Italy, some people say it looks a little bit like a boot. What do you think? There are a lot of different countries in Europe. People of Europe. Each country has its own language, foods, and customs. In Germany, people speak German. They celebrate a festival called Oktoberfest. So you might be wondering, what is Oktoberfest? What are they celebrating? You might be wondering how, why they are all matching and wearing the same outfit. Whatever you are wondering, let me know. And we're going to make a big list of all of our wonders. In the United Kingdom, people speak English. The United Kingdom has a royal family. So the United Kingdom has a king and a queen. This is the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but they have a queen. We do not have a queen, we have a president. So we have different forms of government. In Italy, people speak Italian. There is a city in Italy where the streets are waterways. There are no cars. People walk on sidewalks or ride boats to go from place to place. How neat is that? So you might wonder how that town was created. Places to see. There are many things to see in Europe. People visit the beautiful parks and buildings in the cities. So this is a colorful dragon fountain. This one is in Barcelona in Spain. They visit Europe's museums to see art. There are famous paintings in the museums. So there's a bunch of kids at a museum. They come to see castles that were built long ago. So in Europe, there are lots of super old castles that were built a long time ago. This one is in Denmark. Land and water. Europe has forests. Trees grow in the forests and many animals live there. This is a brown bear looking for food in Finland. Europe has places that are hot and dry. The weather is good for growing olives and grapes. Ooh, yum. And these folks are in France. Europe has mountains. It has groups of mountains called ranges. So if there's just one mountain, you call it a mountain. If there are many mountains, several mountains, then it's called a mountain range. The tallest mountain range in Europe is the Alps. So what activity do you see people doing in this photograph? They are skiing. Europe has many rivers. The rivers connect cities to the sea. Visitors travel on the rivers to see Europe's interesting places. Look at that, that is neat. So you might be wondering, what is that building? And remember, if I'm turning the pages too quickly, you can always pause the video so that you can look at the pictures. Modern marvels. The Milou Viaduct stretches across a deep valley in France. It is the world's tallest bridge. This is the tallest bridge in the whole entire world, you guys. How cool is that? The bridge has tall columns and cables. The columns and cables work together to hold up the bridge. Ooh, what shapes do you see on that bridge? That is so neat. Meet an alpine ibex. Alpine ibexes are wild goats. They live high in the mountains in Europe. These goats are excellent climbers. And then on this next page, it has words you know. So we have bear, castle, mountain, and museum. 
And then at the back, we have our index that tells us what page we can find out more about each of these things. And it has a couple of more things for us. So what I need you to do is I need you to write down what you notice or what you wonder about Europe and have your parents send me your wonder questions. It can be in a text, it can be an email, it can be a comment on this video, it can be a dojo message, but if they tell me what you wonder about, I'm gonna make a big chart and write down all of our wonders and we can hang it up and we can figure out those questions and research them together. So go ahead and send me all of your wonder wheel questions for this book. I am so excited to learn about these different continents with you guys, and I just cannot wait to learn more. So have a wonderful day, and I will see everybody back here tomorrow to learn about Asia. Bye, guys.